Ramble. Thank you to DoorDash, BetterHelp, and Priceline for sponsoring today's episode. <sighs> Guys, I'm so glad we're starting the podcast, but I got something to tell you. I'm so hungry. I was about to have a panic attack because I was too warm. And I was so hungry, mm-hmm. and also I'm devastated. Yeah, it's it's a it's look. If you've noticed a shift in the in the room, uh, change in the energy. Yeah, uh, it's because there are changes afoot here at the tripod. Uh, first of all, this is a non-plog day. We're we're doing a pot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I it was okay. I just was. You, you want to finish crunching the chip? Uh, you may have seen there was a video released recently where one of our members um, <laughs> has decided to uh, to move on. Uh, Miles yeah. Bonsignore. I feel like it's sort of a three-way divorce. One of our thruple has, you know, my parents, my How work parents, my there? corporate parents. <laughs> <laughs> There's three of you. <laughs> but now two. Oh, well, who are you? What about you? Are I'm you the, our child? I'm the kid. Uh, the three dads? <laughs> well, you can be part of the divorce. I, well, I'm experiencing it. You're a cod. Yeah. What? what? Child of divorce? <laughs> yeah. I'm a cod. Is that not what they call it? <laughs> I've never heard that before. A cod? But I do feel sort of like, okay. Sounds fishy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Miles, as of Friday, uh, <laughs> is no longer an employee of Second, Second Try. Try. He has moved on. He has decided that he doesn't need us anymore. But, but we, we need him. him. There he is. So he's still going to be on the show with us here on the tripod. He's become such an essential voice to the show that we are still going to have him on the show as talent. Four no more longer years. No longer Miles, producer. Four <laughs> more years. Please, please don't talk, Miles. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah. <laughs> Miles is here. For good. Hey, what's up, guys? Happy to be here. Happy to be beer. I pull out a beer somehow. <laughs> um, uh, it's you're no abs- longer producing. That's you're just, right. You're just talented. Rainy is in the mile seat. And Rainy, how does it feel slash smell over there? <laughs> I would like some Well, tips. it is crazy, I'll say. Yeah. Because I... um. It's my first day of work, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Well, it's my first day of the new job, yeah, officially. Right. That's right. Um, and it's also really weird because we've got Sienna, our intern, mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. And I started in that chair. <gasps> watching, Way back when. Yeah. Wow. Watching the tripod be recorded. So it's very reminiscent, especially since we're never here anymore. I know. So I'm like, whoa. It feels very weird to be in the studio and also sitting in a seat that I never sit yeah. in. Yeah. How does it feel? Feels good. Firm but soft. Feels firm but soft. Sitting next to Zach, somebody who I typically on look at from the side. You I'm gawk. seeing a different angle. Yeah and, yeah, and now you're like you're close enough to to touch me. I'm Ooh. close enough to touch you, and I can because I'm no longer an employee. <laughs> yeah. Miles and Zach have fully kissed before. <laughs> <We've>, <laughs> I, well, <laughs> well, well, I was, it was an employee. a stage kiss. It was, it was a, a stage, stage kiss. kiss. It was in a play. Mm-hmm. It was an idea. <laughs> it was in a play. As well as in all the chain restaurants. We never kissed in that video. I can't remember. We cut it out. No. We made out, but we cut it out. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> it was, it was uh, I put on my face mask to kiss him. <laughs> That's right. I proposed yeah. and mm-hmm. then put on my face mask Safety and first. stood and went, mwah, 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 mwah. Yeah. Right. Is that how you kiss? Yeah. How do you kiss? Everyone do an impression. Mwah, mwah, I'll go like this. You- <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm I'm curious energetically, you know, you had your your final day Friday. I feel like we should have kept you away for a week. Interesting before coming back to the show. It was <laughs> hilarious because we did do sort of like a all right, it's like Miles' is goodbye lunch. And I was just like, Well, there's a long weekend and then I <laughs> come back on Tuesday. It was the first work day possible. Yeah, that I could possibly be back. So no one's experienced anything. And you guys also haven't seen my Why Life Try Guys video yet. So you're still not sure if I slander you deeply. Have at this <laughs> point, have you recorded it? Um, I've scripted it. I was going to record it yesterday. The scripting got a little ambitious. It led to a venue. <laughs> it led to me touring a venue and oh almost doing something incredibly ambitious and then last minute deciding, you know what, that's its own video. Wait, what do you mean? And what? not doing it. What? Venue? I was just going to, there was a huge, I was going to, like, I needed a B story because I was like, I don't want it to just be me talking at camera. And so I was like, okay, the B story is going to be this big fucking event thing that I was going to do on Saturday. 
And then over the course of the day, I was like, this is crazy. Why am I forcing myself to do something that I do not need to be doing? I'm curious, how long have you been considering mm. fodder for a why I left Try Guys? I mean, that's really interesting. I guess it, if we had ended really disastrously, and, you know, after you kissed me, <laughs> I had sort of... <laughs> yeah, that would have been a different story. It would have been a different video entirely. But it's going to be more of a cheeky moment. It'll be more cheeky and, like, also celebratory, because it's like... Yeah. Which I think is rare. I mean, you came on Perfect Person. That episode came out yesterday when people are listening to this. Yeah. And it's sort of... Uh, it's a rarity, I think, to leave a job, continue to still do the things that I really like at that mm -hmm. job, and then also not have, like, weird bad blood or burned bridge. I don't need to. Yeah. We, we, I mean, we've been talking for, I, I mean, years-ish at this point. Yeah. And we knew with the trajectory that you were on that it, it probably necessitated you leaving at some point. Yeah, sure. I, I think that it is a special thing for us to be able to cultivate a space for people's interest to grow into what they want to become and figure out ways within what we do here for people to grow into that and in doing so grow the company along with them mm -hmm. um and for some people there's going to be ways for them to do that forever for others not so i i think we're we're just happy that we were able to to ride ride together for as long as we did and now ride we get that dragon baby. ride that dragon yeah but i was trying to think if there was a comparable example of something that has happened similarly at a different company. And I actually couldn't think of one. At a different company? Yeah, like any company. I was like, or like any YouTube thing where it's like any someone- Any company who, ever. Any company ever. Well, are Smosh freelancers? Uh, some, some are. Some, some of them are, are yeah. Okay, but no one's left publicly and then continued yeah. to work there. But again, I guess if you're a freelancer, you don't have to leave publicly. What I don't I'm know. hearing is kind of like you're a coward. I'm sort of a coward. I Interesting took thing. the coward's way out. <laughs> Quitting, but still working there. Yeah. I mean, but you also, similarly to Keith and Zach, yeah. have created your own business. Right, I'm a little business You're owner. an LLC. You're an uh, entrepreneur. I do have an LLC. Tax yeah. documents. Now, that way, if you get sued, they don't sue you. They sue the company, and then you just um, fold the company, and then you're out scot-free. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> did, did, did we give you a non-poach clause? What's the non-poach? I can't steal everybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let me year. tell you all the people that are living For a year. For, me. <laughs> for okay, a year. They work. And I hate to say it, but Eugene. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> He's doing social media for me. Wow. <laughs> oh, I was surprised too. He's unpaid, right? Yeah, he's an unpaid intern <laughs> doing social. So I technically didn't poach him. That's a good point. I know. He just yeah. does it for the, the love of the game. Yeah. I am glad I have an LLC because I was a little bit... When I started talking to people on the phone, I was like, hopefully none of these people sue me for giving them bad advice. It is oh. unbelievable that I've been on your show twice now, and you choose the sauciest, most salacious <laughs> thing. Only for you. We had two really aggressively graphically sexual calls. I had to say, oh. I had to say, yeah. cock. You had to say cock. You didn't have to. to. He didn't have to. You had to say cock. Trust me, he did not you have to say cock. You just did liberally again. O C K. I had to say with a little smiley face drawn into the O. Yeah. He did to. not have to say cock. I, I mean, to. in fact, <laughs> not at all did he have to say cock. I had to say it. I and then to say it again today. I had to say vagina. I had to say pussy. Okay, well, vagina is not a dirty word. That's it's not. right, Zach. You're canceled. <laughs> you had to say pussy where the S's were little snakes. <laughs> what little, does that mean? With little snakes. That's why it softens it. Yeah. I yeah. I mean, it was quite. Shocking, and I I mm. went home and I told Maggie about the the call about the threesome, and um, someone someone loudly had a threesome with her windows open, yeah. mm. and then the longer the call went on, I I honestly I was reflecting on it. People call, call into Miles' show, mm -hmm. the little natty plug, natty plug, uh, perfect person, natty light, uh, natty with, light, with <laughs> problems, and and this person basically her problem was that her and her boyfriend uh fucked another dude, mm -hmm. and they left the window open, and they were. So loud that loud. everyone heard. Everyone in heard. the apartment complex. They're enjoying themselves. But you were saying that happens to you a lot as well. Stop it! Right yeah, yeah I was just gonna ask. Your neighbors I'm called quiet the police. Quiet like a mouse. They said, <laughs> You're quiet like a mouse. Nice. That's even weird. <laughs> no, silent. Mute. Silent. <laughs> By the way, Lauren told me she brought you Moldovan cookies yesterday. She did. She went to the same gas station we went to, and she thinks there's other Moldovan treats there too. Yeah, there are. We gotta go back. What do you mean you Moldova? You know for a fact that the that our gas station's a Moldovan gas station. No, but I, I there are more Moldovan. I had to choose which one I wanted. Randy, your hair looks beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I just did it. What is going on over there? Are you Rapunzel now? Um, it's giving. Are you guys seeing this? What's the? It's, it's like it's a off TikTok to the duck, side, duck. kind of like pre-braided. 
Yeah. That's well, this fun. is how I did it. Here's a little tutorial. Twist. Show us, please. Twist <laughs> and da. Wow. Twisting. Twist and Twist. drop. Yeah. Um, I need a haircut because my yeah. hair is too heavy. Ah, interesting. Yeah. You- I'm sort of at a crossroads with my hair where I'm going for sort of a zaddy professor thing. Mm. And I'm not That's really sure. That's what you're going for? Yeah. <laughs> like Professor Snape? That's what you're going for. You know what, Zach? You've talked about my hair being oily before on the show. <laughs> you're going for professor? And this is my last straw. I'm leaving for real. <laughs> no. You're going for professor? I what? feel like I, lo- I did a middle, middle part. That's not hot, professor. What professor looks like this? It's not really a middle part. I mean, it is, but it's so it goes back. So I'm, it's sort of both, back and middle part. I'm so sorry. I do look like a professor. If I was to be wearing like a tweed coat, prove it. Okay. A tweed coat would will really pull it off. What I would think, you teach? I would teach philosophy. philosophy. Okay. Thank you, Rainy. <laughs> Literally great minds think alike. Yeah. And Zach looks like the fucking AV tech who dropped out. That's not my fault. <laughs> but I, I feel like I look I like ain't the, claiming to be no professor. Okay, check this out. You look like a TA maybe. Uh, oh. <laughs> I literally can't even look at you. I'm so upset. You, I think you could be a TA also. I could be a TA also for That's a different class. That's kind of a really nice compliment. I'm though. a philosophy teacher, but I'm a TA for science. Yeah, you're you're in school <laughs> still for another another degree. For another degree. I can't stop. You're hungry. Have you for ever learning. considered a ponytail? How could you even say that to me? I feel like that's a fair question. Where you would you have put a tie? It? The problem with a ponytail is I think that it's like something Jonathan can pull off that I don't really think I can. Let's, let's Didn't he have a man a, pun, a bun for a little bit? Sorry for saying man bun. It's canceled. It's just a bun. It's just a bun. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just but a cinnamon bun. Jonathan had a bun for a little bit, and I thought it looked really nice and cool. I don't think I can pull off a bun because I don't think my hairline is as... Why isn't it called a horse tail? Let's take an ad break. The ponytail. <laughs> Not a horse tail or any other tail? Actually, I've point. never seen a horse tail... Tied up. Put your hair. Well, if it's in a horse the tail. tail, then Keith, I guess you don't want. And I hate to say this, but where's the horse hole? The butthole. Yeah, it's anus. The same place on every other mammal. It makes your face the anus. <laughs> well, no, it makes the ba- it makes your ubla oblongata the anus, right? Like this part, the little soft Sorry? part. What was that u- word? Ubla oblongata. Ubla oblongata. What is he making up? Ubla oblongata. Are you talking about? The Abdullah Oblongata, which Abdullah is a part Ablongata. of the brain that's not on the back of your head. Hala Abdullah Oblongata. Hala <laughs> Abdullah Oblongata. Okay, so I mean, I don't. Do you, you look so how do you think different, you spell Miles. That? See, this is why I don't do it. Uh, yeah. By the way, it's too much, Professor. No way, Professor. I look like a guy who's going to sell you acid in the parking lot. I think. <laughs> and I would buy it. The Abdullah oh, is buying acid in the parking lot. It, I don't think my butt might's tight enough. To me, it's giving like bad boyfriend you're going to break up with. You know what I mean? You teach a class on foraging. Hey, what's up? Can you just help me with rent this month? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm triggered. I'm yeah, see? Triggered. I'm telling you. It's not exactly... Do you want to buy this essence? It's like weed, but it's not weed. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it, but it doesn't like get you high. It, but I made it. See, it's I. Uh, there's a reason. By, and look, look. Yeah, Zach's obviously being like, you know, I like a like professor. It. I didn't like it either. But see, I'm going for sort of like a, oh, look at this. It's kind of like behind hard, the ears. it's behind the ears a little bit. It's kind of like uh, vintage almost. And the beard, I think, lends it to a professor style. Well, you actually have pretty curly hair. Thank you. Wavy. Yeah. for saying that. And I would say also I agree. you got to do the curly girl method. Wavy. Curly girl method I work. What <laughs> would it take for you to shave your beard? Like, is it is it on the table or is it just purely? Like, if there were a candy competition creative that required it. Um, I would shave it. Wow. Fifteen thousand dollars. For how long would you keep it shaven for that amount? How long? Yeah, I mean, what's the offer on the table? How, about, how much would it cost for you to shave it where it goes over your mouth and the you know, old? That's got to be off, less. I think out. it's got to be less because it'll grow back eventually and be normal quicker. Right. It also would look cooler. It would look cooler. Yeah. I mean, I'm wondering for yeah, I would probably shave it uh, uh, for cash, for cash, for the keys to Zach's car. <laughs> <laughs> Should you be Waluigi it. for Halloween? That's interesting you say that, Keith, because I'm thinking of a Halloween costume. I do. I could be Waluigi, and then Julian could be Wario. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's your first Halloween with a baby, which unlocks a whole plethora. And Sarah has already informed me that her and Kendall will be doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> she said, she's doing, no, she was always like, me and Kendall have like a girls thing we're going to do, so you and Julian can have a costume <laughs> together. Aww. 
<laughs> which is very cute. So um, me and my friends are actually thinking about doing three men and a baby, but mm. Julian's one of the men and one of us is the baby. <laughs> what That's about Baby's good. Day Out? Same premise. Yeah, <laughs> right. Someone else is the baby and Julian's one of the guys in Baby's Day Out. You miss some syrup on your pancakes, or you just ran out of your favorite coffee creamer. With DoorDash Grocery Delivery, you can get what you want right when you need it. You've trusted DoorDash to deliver your restaurant faves, and now you can get grocery delivery that actually delivers to. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you'll find the best in your neighborhood and boost your local economy with each and every order. You're going to get exactly what you ordered, or DoorDash is going to make it right. So sit back and enjoy quality groceries just like you picked them yourself. You want more value? Fine! You can save on all your grocery and restaurant favorites with zero dollar delivery fee on all eligible orders with a Dash Pass membership. Get 50% off your first DoorDash order up to a $20 value when you use code TRIPODFALL at checkout. Limited time offer, terms apply. That's 50% off up to $20, no min subtotal, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code TRIPODFALL. Don't forget! Let's go tripod fall for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. I find that if I'm working too late into the day, by the time I get into bed, my mind is racing a million miles per hour trying to solve every problem I've ever had all at once. It turns out that one way to make those racing thoughts go away is to talk through them, right? Therapy gives you a place to do that so you can get out of your negative thought cycles and find some mental and emotional peace. It's helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. BetterHelp is so appreciated because I can fit it around my schedule. I frankly, I would never make it to a therapist's office. It just would not happen. But with BetterHelp, wherever I am in the world, I can do it from my phone. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched with a licensed therapist, and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash tripod today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash tripod. I think I might actually try Halloween this year. I think I'm going to do full effort. That's a crazy... That's when, so crazy. What are you talking about? You've never done Halloween? No, I have, but it's always like kind of a half-assed like day of thing. Yeah. Um, Here's and the thing I, yeah. I want to tell the audience right now listening. If you're not on it right now, you're already late. late. Oh, yeah. Get on it. Don't yeah. get till the week before. You're, you're just like, going to end ah, up being a cat. Scrambling. Yeah. Again. What do you think the pop culture things are going to be of this year? It's going to be Bar- Stranger Things. Barbie up the ass. <laughs> everyone's going to be Barbie. See, that's yeah. the thing is you don't want to do the thing everyone's going to be doing. Don't do Barbie. Also, I, I feel like we already did Halloween in July when Barbie came out. Yeah, like, everyone everybody did Barbie. Was, yeah. Everyone dressed as Barbie. It's done. It's over. We're moving on. Lizard. Lizard? Big lizards. No? Well. I like where your head's at, Keith. A bunch yeah. of lizards? It's, yeah. Bunch of lizards, lizards in little maxi dresses. Sexy lizard Sexy is something lizards. that has not been tapped into in the way that I feel that we can tap into it. Yeah, where are all of the sexy lizard costumes? Yeah. Do you have like any of those costumes where you want to do it every year and then you forget and then as soon as Halloween's over, you're like, ah! Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, we did this, um, uh, I mean, Spirit Halloween try on thing. I guess, yes. should we, yeah, we can we talk about that now, Zach, or is that a uh, peek behind the curtain? It's exclusive. Keith, Keith, you think we can talk about that now? I don't or, know. Uh, it's Spirit Halloween. I don't want someone. For the faster turnaround, just try to do it. But a lot of them were really good, and I kind of was like, these are all going to be better than if I try to do something myself. Some of them were. Some of them were not. Some of them were not, and were too sexy or sexy in all the wrong places. You know what I really had a hard time with? What? Steampunk. I mean, what is that costume? It tickles middle school me who, like, liked steampunk for some reason. I think it's just the idea that it's sort of Victorian. Because is, no, is there a famous sting, steampunk character that you're dressing as? You're just dressing as wild, an era. Wild, wild, wild West. Yeah. I think it's, like, literally, like, novels from the 1800s where, like, it'll be future, but it'll be steam or something. Why would we all use steam? I think it's a crazy the, idea. We didn't, didn't know anything better. Didn't know what's with all the goggles? Because the steam. steam is too hot <laughs> and you're welding somehow. But their face is still exposed. It is thinking, I like thinking about visions for the future and how those change over time. Because mm. steampunk is it's like, 
we didn't know anything else. I assume I actually don't know the history of steampunk. But I think that our vision of the future has been pretty frozen for the last hundred years. Interesting. Let it go. <laughs> like Metropolis, it, you know, famous movie has the the robot lady. That's yeah. like that. I, I just saw Beyonce last night. A little brag. And she wow. she was <laughs> oh, VIP or what? The birthday oh, show. You better huh? believe it. Yeah, nice. And uh, she was doing, you know, she did a play on Metropolis. And I was yeah. just like, oh, that vision of the future is we're still doing like. Uh, like that silver robot lady. Yeah. yeah, but you know what we do have is like you know how in Harry Potter, sh which is canceled, but you know how in the <laughs> the fireplace, there like you can talk to Sirius Black. We uh -huh. can talk to Sirius Black pretty much on our phones, and we can have the little like you know videos and the news feed just like Harry Potter. Well, that's like Star Trek. A lot of this that shit didn't exist. Like they kind of created a FaceTime, yeah. and they were like, "This is what it's gonna be like." And then now we have that. Boom, yeah. we're fucking here. I'm ready to talk about it. I got something fucking balls good. You ready? For <laughs> All right, okay. let's go, Pete. Let's go, Pete. It's the hypest moment of the century. <laughs> I sent this to Zach. Did you know people are doing races in Iron Man suits right now? It's real. It's a thing. It's reality. It's crazy. It's what? fucking actual Iron Man jet suits and there are people in them and the military has them now and they're holding races and holy shit Iron Man's real. That's crazy. So, to describe even, this, it, holy is, it is shit. people in, I mean they're obviously wearing a ton of padding because if you fall you You're get blocked. fucked up. Yeah. But they have like jet packs on their hands? They're a whole, they like put their hands into sort of Mega Man arm blasters That's that so shoot cool. out jet fuel and they also have a backpack that's shooting out jet fuel and so they're flying like little bugs so you you're on a racetrack but you you like yeah your back goes and then i believe you're using your arms to steer like back yeah. front yeah. and forward yeah. to change your speed versus uh wow. levitation and then there i was like oh my god we should do this and then you keep watching the video and someone fully eat wipes shit. out eat shit eat, and i'm like oh shit. i would It'd be so dangerous. You'd have to have so much bicep strength, which I have. Which I do. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Also, by the way, how often do you think these things are exploding? They're full of jet fuel. That's I, I so assume cool. It's jet fuel. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know what it is. Oh, you know what? Actually, I did see that people, You're they, the Marines were going to use them <laughs> um, because they were like, if I have to rescue somebody who's dropped into a ravine or in a mountain range, I can, instead of flying a helicopter, fucking helicopters are literally last year's news, I can use a <laughs> Mega Man blaster to go scoot, 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 and I'm saving lives. But how are you going to, like, you don't know how much they weigh. How are you going to be ready to balance yeah. them on your chest? I think the idea is that you can, like, patch them up until the helicopter arrives. Uh, so what oh. if, uh, now that you're kind of in a freelance model with us, you're going to be in some videos, you'll obviously yeah, yeah. be in the podcast. I'm thinking we do a video where we drop you in a ravine. Love this. Yeah. And then yeah. Keith Zach and I try to rescue you wearing jetpacks. That's a fantastic idea. By the way, an idea I wanted to do um, with one of you that I feel like, I mean, I've pitched so many ideas at this point, and it's we like. reject them all. <laughs> Grease boy doesn't happen. And at a certain point, I'm starting to get offended thinking you don't like the idea. <laughs> We're just I waiting just, for the right see moment. Everybody twisting their ankles. Yeah. No. Well, that's why you need to have the least ankle of my concerns. And I see. It, and I know. I I know you're concerned there, and that's why would they wear ankle braces? You think we're running around <laughs> in ankle braces? You think that's going to make it better? Well, they're on roller skates. They're not running at all. Uh. So anyway, uh, th that's enough. You're right. But um, uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to lock one of you in the trunk of a car. We drive it to a <laughs> discreet town, and the idea is oh, much yeah. like Ryan Trehan. Discreet town. <laughs> A town that doesn't have a lot of like pizzazz. What do you mean, just a discreet town? This just this town is so discreet. I <laughs> they, barely even they don't know this. They don't tell secrets. Oh, okay. No, it's the idea is that we lock you in the trunk of a car. I mean, a big car for you, a little car for you, obviously. <laughs> yeah, and Mini Cooper. The, <laughs> into a fucking H2 Honda Fit for, for you. Me. But um, we put you in a discreet town, small. Little tiny, itty little bitty, tiny, itty bitty, down, town. quiet little town. No rumors. The idea is no phone. You don't have a phone. And you have to, much like Ryan Trahan's we, penny series. We run for mayor and see who can become the most popular and win. Okay, that's also a good idea, <laughs> but not my idea. So I'm going to pretend <laughs> like you didn't idea? say it. Okay. Okay, literally what it is, is you try to get back to Los Angeles using the resources at your disposal, and that's it. No phone. Yeah, we've talked about something similar, like can you... You survive in the you know can you survive in a small town without a phone? I mean, what's your first idea, move? Though? Which was uh, we all start downtown in L. A. Yeah. and each of us take a laxative, and you have to get <laughs> home. 
Great shit idea. wars. It's the it's the race against your, your stomach. That's actually really good. And you also you have like ten bucks. And that's, that's so funny though. And also, if you wear like one of those three sixty cameras right here, so you can see your face. Oh my god. Yeah. And you can't go to any other bathroom. It has to be your home toilet. It has to be your home toilet. Yes, you have to get home. That's so funny. That's really, really That's good. That's really hard. Do you ever really have to go to the bathroom and you call your partner or your roommate and you're like, I'm coming home, unlock the doors and open them all. Uh-huh. Don't talk to me. Be I out just, of the bathroom. Sometimes it's like I need, I can't fumble with the key because when yeah. you when you get close to your house, yeah. your like brain goes, movie. I recognize this. Yeah. Oh, time. I'm home. Time to release. And you're like, no, no, no. Not yet, sphincter. We're not there. <laughs> so... Uh. <laughs> So yeah, I've definitely had it where I all like I I've actually made it where I'm like Maggie, open the front door, like just leave it open, leave a runway. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know what I'm saying, and fucking move. I think my lactose tolerance is showing, but I've never had to shoot <laughs> shit so bad that shoot I shit out of your body so fast you had to call your buddies. <laughs> I've had to take a fast dump, but I've never needed a runway oh, you're in s- such a way. You're so lucky. What is that I know, like? I'm sorry. I You've think- never walked into a bookstore in a mall and uh, suddenly- In a coffee shop, I've said, I need to go to the coffee shop bathroom right away. Right now. <laughs> right this fucking I have to go cigar. right now. Yeah, and I drink a lot of coffee, so obviously, you know. So, uh, something that's on my mind, I what's the one celebrity that genuinely, genuinely, you're oh, like, yeah. yeah, we would vibe? Or All maybe- right. Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> you don't what speak is- Italian, <laughs> first of all. I think if you just speak very confidently with an Italian accent, he would get it. <laughs> yeah, he'd get the idea. Um, Paul Rudd, I think, would really like you. Yeah. Um, would hate Zach. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I think he would really like would both he? of you. I he think he'd get along so, with all yeah, of us. No, he's, he's so easy to get along yeah, with. It's just... too easy of an answer, though, because he can get along with anybody. Okay. Yeah, who's a specific celebrity? <laughs> Okay, then. I choose <laughs> Christina Aguilera. Oh, I actually agree. Interesting. You I think, think that vibe? you are enough of a diva to be on her level, mm-hmm. but also grounded enough to really make the friendship work. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can be friends with anyone. I feel the same. I feel similarly like I have That's a lot of- That's my superpower. Everybody likes Keith. fucking yeah. accepted. Everybody likes Keith. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, <laughs> it's a good series name. Should we- <laughs> I kind of want to like- 10 things I hate about you this and find the person who doesn't like me won't be your friend Mm. and you try and win them over yeah hidden camera it's honestly like a and then you become genuine friends with them and then right before the dance they find out it was for a video and you go no it started that way it was that's a great idea video but now we're buddies I spend the day with my hater (laughs) and they were gonna take me to a visa with them on their private jet but now they're not going to yeah oh (sighs) not a visa Ibiza. I spend the day with my hater is a great concept. I'd be scared. I, uh, I find that people just like to have questions asked about them. There's definitely trolls yeah. that don't like me on the internet, right? But they don't know the real me. They don't really know you. Way back when I did me? a video where I found, I tracked down, okay, Cupid has an enemy feature. Right, that's right. So I, I oh. found my biggest enemy and we, we went on a date. How was it? I mean, it was fine. Was it actually fine or did you dislike them? <laughs> I would say we didn't super vibe, but it was fun. Right, and I guess in the context of like you're not supposed to like each other, it's sort of that person. Your friends are like, don't date them. Yeah, and then it's like, okay, but now I kind of want to because they're yeah. gonna be sassy, they're off limits. They're off limits. Just like when you put a little police do not cross. Ooh, I want to cross. Well, that's like whenever somebody was like, you <laughs> I yeah, get oh, in I, there. Like, Can I just dip my toe? Oh, I want to go. <laughs> oh, why can't I go there? Why is there a little velvet rope here in front of this stairway? It doesn't that doesn't seem like there's anything different about this stairway? I'd like to go up that stairway. Yeah, I'm not a sheep. I want to go. I want to go <laughs> wherever I can. Employees only. <laughs> I'm walking through. Yeah. I wonder. It, yeah. It's like if I was on a, you know, a hangout with somebody I thought disliked me. I think I would just ask them a lot of questions. I think I could get in there. You could get in there. I think I can get in there. I think I get in there because I also know how to mm-hmm. comment down. It's like, oh, they're more serious, and I'm like, actually, I am too. I'm kind of a serious <laughs> guy. I'm sort of a chameleon. I do feel like I mold my personality based on who people are mm-hmm. who desiring them to you like me. You read the room. Oh. Read the room. Turn into it. Yeah, I turn into the room. But then is it, are there certain people where it's like, I? it's very challenging to match their vibe? There's certain people that I choose that I do not care to do that right. because I find them to be not very nice. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I don't always do that. If it's some, uh, you know, it's I like just, I could be snarky too. Oh, I but could I'm not make them to. really like me, but I'm just choosing not to. <laughs> no, well, it's like if somebody is like nasty, nasty, if they're a nasty gal, nasty, bad, a nasty boy, they're not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. You don't it. want them to feel like, 
they fit in. No. Right? Because they're being too nasty. <laughs> they're being too nasty. And it's like, so I don't want you to feel seen by me because I don't see you. I normally just excuse myself, not negatively or positively. I'll just say like, I'm just going to leave this person. I'm not going to keep talking to them. I don't yeah. like them. Okay, well, goodbye. Oh, I'll go to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'm going will, to the bathroom I'll, 10 times. I'll piss times myself. And if you, if I'm, gonna, <laughs> if I'm gonna party and I'm talking to you, and I'm like, hey, by the way, like, oh, whatever, I, I gotta go to the bathroom. Sometimes it means that I have to go to the bathroom, <laughs> but mostly it means everybody knows I'm done. I'm gonna with go this. grab another drink. Yeah, I'm done with is, this. I'm fucking out of this. I'm done with this. I'm and, so tired of talking to you. I don't know you, and what do we have to talk about? I can barely hear you. Yeah, no. Oh my god, I can't handle a Sometimes lot. Sometimes I can barely hear you. I was in a bar the other day, and uh, people like I, I was trying to have a conversation with this friend of mine, and I. Could not hear a fucking word mm. she said. And I'm like nodding and being like, to totally. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no way. Yeah. But it's that's crazy. Can't hear a single goddamn word she just said. Mm. She could have been like, my family was killed by a werewolf. And I'm like, sometimes awesome. <laughs> if a fan comes and talks to me in a crowded place, I'll literally have to go, huh? And I'll stick my ear next to their mouth. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I can't hear you. How can I help you? I would love to say hello, but I can't hear you, and it's so loud, so speak directly into my ear, please. I had a, a version of that last night at the show where Jay, Sh Jay Shetty came in right before the show started, and he was like in the row in front of us, but diagonal. And ah. it was this thing where like it was so loud there, I couldn't like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, ah, I'm just, and Maggie's like, say hi. I'm like, I just, it's, what, it's, what are we going to do? We're going to do the thing where we go, hey, how are you? Are you excited for the oh, hey. So I yeah. just didn't. And then she has these like inner, like three minute interstitials in mm. between sets while she goes change and there's the whole uh -huh. video thing. And he came up to me and this is like right at the the peak of whatever I decided to do to make the, the show one, sound better. The one and beer that Zach allowed himself. The, the one <laughs> beer, yep. And it hit. Yep. And I, uh, and it was loud and I was immediately drenched in sweat from dancing. And it was just that like, hey! Hey, oh, so good, right? Oh, so good. I've been to three shows this year, and this one's number one. And we were just kind of yelling <laughs> yeah, and right. smiling at each other. And it, there was no real good way to just shake and move on. But uh, you also, you when you see someone, you have to just acknowledge. You have to. Grocery store, yeah. concert, no matter what, you've got to be like, oh, well, I got to go talk to this person because we know each other. Do you think you could be friends with any celebrity? No. Uh, <laughs> you said Harry Styles before. Did I? Yeah. You think we could? You think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think he'd actually know. really like you. I, I think know. he'd be like interesting guy. I think he'd be like a flavor of the week kind of friend. He'd like be friends with you for like four yeah. days and then he'd move on. I think he's hot, in the next week. I think hot week. guys yeah. are intrigued by me. I could. I actually, it's like that Maya Angelou poem. What's the poem? Michelangelo. No, Maya Angelou. <laughs> what yeah, is her? What is the poem? Uh, it's about, it's like, let me look it up. It's like pretty women wonder where my secret lies. I'm not fit or built for fashion's model size. But oh when I start to, <laughs> I think you know this lies. well. <laughs> yeah. Essentially, the I premise say, being that hot people are interested in Zach because um, they they want to know why they're interested. They live a different life. Yeah. What's Zach it like to be less hot than me? <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? What's it there? like to be popular not for being hot? Yeah, I was thinking like there's a guy. I was in my car and I was about to film a TikTok, and um, this hunk of a dude oh. who is like so jacked. He's Describe a boxer. Him. He's Describe in my neighborhood. Him. He's like fit as fuck, and he wears big like not Beats headphones. Does some he other brand. The shoulders that have more muscles than ours. Yeah, definitely. Where there's like where how'd you make that one? He's like a boxer of some kind. He may own a boxing gym. Does his head kind of look like a potato but in a good way? No, Does not his even. Jaw He's so sharp it could cut steak. He... <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Keith, you've got to get into romance novels. I actually think you'd be pretty good. <laughs> you think I should write some? Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, that's wow, the first that's... line. You got I've, it. I've never read one. <laughs> In my life. Oh, you... But I would. I mean, I feel like Becky does, right? I only yeah. started reading books again recently. Oh, that's right. And by that, I mean I read one book in well, the last 18 years. I read the new... Uh, to, not to kill Monkey Bird. <laughs> 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 the new... <laughs> to kill oh, the new Hunger Games book. Oh. I, thought, I thought Mockingjay for some reason in my oh, mind. Suzanne Collins. And it was good. It was good? By the way, there was a sequel to To Kill a Mockingbird that came out within the last 10 years. Really? What? what? <laughs> yeah. Are you out of your mind? What there, kind of... It, it was Happened. like uh, uh, Harper Lee's estate released it, and it was like she had written it, but decided it wasn't good enough. If if my, you, I'm getting a nod. Yeah, it's called Go Set a Watchman, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And I think 
I think there were some people who were pissed because they were like, she clearly didn't finish this and y'all just released it. So that's there yeah. was a wow. new to kill. Well, I didn't read that. Book. I read the new Hunger Games book and I have never read any Hunger Games book. So I mm. thought it was pretty good. Other They're people fun. say it's not as good as the other Hunger Games book. So I'm excited to read the other Hunger Games book someday. Wait, Those what books- was the inciting incident? Like, why would you, why, why read that book and not Hunger Games? It's also a good so, fun Becky read. Becky was reading it. She said it was good. Uh-huh. It's a YA like, thing. Those are read. really fun to read, I find. Like, they, you don't have to, not too thinky. It's like giving, yeah. it sort of reads like a screenplay in a lot of ways. So we've, uh, you know, we've we've gone all down all sorts of yeah. alleys, but we have strayed a little bit from the initial premise of the episode. So we're Jet having too racing. much fun. Yeah. Yeah. No, Which I is, think, yeah. Miles, you're a free man. I'm a mm-hmm. free man. And in free fact, agent. we talked about this. You're no longer my boss. You're um, my colleague, my peer. Yeah, so what? how would you actually classify? Would it be colleague or we're would it be collabing? Friend? Collaborator. I would say we're collabing. Our artist. Friend. <laughs> Friend, that's nice. Artist friend, I like that. I mean, what do you think you've? So let's do a retrospective. Okay, here we go. How how would you describe the podcast department? First day of podcast department. Close your eyes. First day yeah. of the podcast department. Mm, I'm closing mine. There are four bosses in front of me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Fast forward a little bit. <laughs> 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 I sit alone and shrouded with a GoPro on me. I talk at the end. Um, <laughs> mm. No, I think that that's sort of how it was. Like, it's also like, yeah, I talked at the very end of the show for. A, I believe Keith had the idea for the segment. We yeah. recorded the first one in a weird shed, and only Patreon got to hear it. Oh yeah. Um, and has it ever been released? It's Patreon. Man, yeah, some of them I think weren't. The I think shed we shed was full of rats. Rat shit. And the rats uh. kept moving in. It was really disgusting. And you tried to kill them all. And you killed more. the rats? No, I didn't kill the rats, but I did walk in one day and there was a blood splatter on the wall because we had set a rat trap. Oh, and this giant no. fucking rat got trapped in it and mm. sp- like a Kill Bill splatter. No, it was, it was it really. Was, I disposed disgusting. of some dead rats at yeah. the office. I also did the same. But it was uh, yeah. So like we recorded all these test episodes, and um, I yeah wasn't set to talk at all until the Keith, Keith was like, "What if Miles gives advice? That's funny. He doesn't know anything." And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end of the episode, I would do my little segment, no theme song, fucking nothing. I would just be like, "Here's a little shtick." Mm-hmm. Talk said it in a funny way. Over time, I. Like the, maybe the segment became slightly longer or whatever, but then I think it changed when people would be out sick. I was like, well, there's not oh, enough right. chairs. I'll just sit here. Yeah. So then I'm on camera the whole time. And then the pandemic, I feel like, is when I started talking more too because mm-hmm. it was mm-hmm. the f- five of us yeah. on a Zoom call. Yeah. So mm-hmm. the video was all of us the whole time. Yeah. Right. So it's like, oh, well, then I should just, you know, yeah, I'm on why camera would the whole I? time. I might as well be reacting and saying a little nothing. And one day, yeah. Miles just brought in the fully produced theme song. Yes. Just completely <laughs> without any announcing of it. And yeah, it never was, asked permission. We were talking very about this funny. on and the it episode. It was so of our, long. Yeah, very long. <laughs> very long. And it still has the... <laughs> it always has and still has me putting down my phone and turning off the recording. At the end of the advice of the couple oh, miles, yeah. was like, you hear, <laughs> and that's, I left it in. It's part of it. It's part of it, is me dropping oh, my phone on the fucking house. Some of Love. the recordings of the Beatles, you can hear them just chatting yeah. On, yeah. on either end of the track when they're like, okay, should we do it? Okay. It's your version of, I got no snare in my headphone. That's right. I got no snare in my headphone. I'm trying to advise to go for a mile. So, what's the biggest, most high tier level thing you learned? From from both of us. From both of you. The most I mean, deep. And, and the experience. And the I've learned me. so much from you guys, to be honest. And I think it's also, this is a crazy job because, uh, like, I had friends that'd be like, yeah, like, um, I'm getting ready for my short. Then they'll shoot the short. And then, like, several months later, they'll maybe be like, you know what? Maybe I'll shoot something else. And we shot two to three videos every week. So I found that, like, with camera stuff, even with audio, with editing, I was getting so many fucking reps in. Because yeah. I was like, unlike most companies where you're like, oh, we're going to do a production and then it's done, we're shooting shit every day. So yeah. I was like getting better at lighting, shooting, whatever, on such a rapid rate that, you know, I was doing that job before Jonathan took it over in like two years. It was like a crazy amount of videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I think that that's like the highest thing I learned was just like being able to put reps in um, on the thing. And then also just being like, the dumber this is, the better it is. And the more comfortable uh-huh. we are, and maybe the less produced, the more fun we'll have, and therefore the audience will have. And how would you say we've shaped you as a yeah, man? Yeah, sort of emotionally. emotionally. What do you think Zach has taught Zach, you about manhood? The brains. Keith, 
the brawn. Oh. <laughs> Describe um, my shoulders. Rainy the heart. Rainy Thanks the heart. Including the me. heart. That's right. Um, <laughs> we had no heart before you came. I had no heart before Rainy. I, I would wonder if, uh, yeah, how have you shaped me as a man? <laughs> I think you've taught me Good so luck. many things. He's really struggling with this one. Wow. <laughs> um, Cut to commercial. I don't know. We've also traveled the world together, which is kind of interesting. Sure. We've been all over the place. We've had lots of fun together. Um, I watched you grow into the Goliath that you always always have been. Goliath. <laughs> Goliath. Goliath. Even a simple taller. stone Zach can take us buffer. down. Yeah. One rock placed well will kill us both. I, I'm curious about the moment <laughs> that <laughs> you... Goliath loses in the story. Does That's he? That's right. He yeah. even wins, duh. <laughs> Goliath is a monster, right? He's just a giant. He's a giant. He's a big guy. Yeah. He's a huge. He's a big guy. Okay David he loses. V. That's like what we wanted. Right? I think they were exaggerating. He's bad. Right? Yeah. He's a big guy and he's being big, big oh, angry. Oh, I see. And so when Miles David, called you, yeah. Yeah. Well, David so kills. too in this story, Miles has slayed us. So you know. true. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm curious the <laughs> moment the biggest. that that you knew that for your personal growth, yeah. you, you had to stop. You know, th this is like you wanted to keep being talent, but mm -hmm. you you knew that in order to grow as a creative, you had to take on your own project and, yeah. and stop producing here. So, what was the moment that you knew, and was there? Fear with that decision, pain with that decision. Yeah, excitement. Definitely. I mean, I think that like, so I started doing for a person. That show got successful enough that I was like, oh shit, this could be like its own thing, and I could just foster that. And I struggled with the world for a long time because I really liked all the stuff that I was doing here. And I think that it's one of those things where I just didn't have enough time in the fucking week, where like. I would be like, okay, I'm doing perfect person. Like, I'll record it on the weekends, and then I'll edit it. Like, also on the weekends, and I had an editor doing the first pass, then I'll do the second pass, like after work. And it just all got to be too much. And we talked briefly about, like, what if I did part time? And you guys were really great about that. But then I was like, I think I need to take a bigger leap than that in order to, like, I have all these projects, and I'm like, what would it look like if I had the most amount of time? Like, how would I fill that? And then I started thinking of, like, okay, if I had that time, this is what I would want to do, and that idea was so exciting to me. And I think when you started Perfect Person, we yeah. had a conversation, and it was basically, yeah, let's figure out how to make this all work, mm -hmm. and if and when it gets to a place where it doesn't, yeah, let's talk about it completely before it becomes a problem. Yeah, um, no, and you, yeah, you said like at the very beginning of when I was doing Perfect Person, hey, don't feel like you just have to go. Like, don't feel like you have to slice this off. Mm -hmm. If you have other aspirations, come and talk to us and we'll figure something out, which is what we've done, why I'm sitting here. Wow, we're fucking awesome. I mean, it is kind of fucking awesome. It's you also used, rare. Yeah. You, know? you used to bring us donuts sometimes in the morning <laughs> and you stopped doing that. Yeah, well, that was when I what happened really there? wanted your approval. What happened? <laughs> well, no, I think we can pull back the clips of you guys being like, I don't actually like donuts. By the way, <laughs> lots of times I brought them in. Keith wouldn't eat because he was well, intermittent fasting. I was intermittent fasting at the time you were tempting me. <laughs> we had a table in here as well. Easier to have donuts. Back in the day. But um, I know I would bring donuts in all the time. And at the beginning, it was my own money. It was. And oh. I was really like, I really want Keith and Zach to like me. I'm sorry, wait, it stopped being your own money? Yeah. Well, I think I'd <laughs> stop doing it as often. And then every once in a while, I'd be like, I'm going to use the company card for this. Very thoughtful. Not an approved expense. We're going to take that out of your talent. Fee. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, as you should. Um, I've bought so many things you don't know about. Not really, actually. By the way. I wish that was true, I though. did find two bags of bouncy balls. In your desk. That I just threw into your there room. There were so many bouncy balls in the desk. Why? Yeah, a lot of bouncy balls. Well, <laughs> I have a lot of stress, Keith. And if I throw them all around the room <laughs> and catch them, that's when the ideas really start flowing. I see. So the other day, it was uh, on Friday, it was Miles' last day, and right. I, I saw him, and I was like, well, 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 you know, did the whole jokey posturing thing. I asked him, you know, joking, like, what's the thing you're going to steal? Because obviously you leave <laughs> you leave a job, you take a little <laughs> memento. Certainly, you know, I, I at the time it felt like a big coup. I took my, my laptop stand from BuzzFeed as if that <laughs> <Nice>. was like... <laughs> <laughs> they didn't notice. <laughs> as if that fucking mattered. Um, what did you steal? Oh, I took some <laughs> shit from the props. Oh, you did? People, I and I, they knew I did it. I went to the props department. I'm like, I'm taking these things. I like them. They're mine. That's awesome. And, <laughs> and, what were and they? I, I, whoever was in there was like, cool. Uh, I took um, that cowboy hat, that oversized cowboy the hat that has passed through all of us. Cowboy that, hat. I took that cowboy yeah. hat and I took some else. <laughs> <laughs> I just took some stuff that I yeah. often used. And also, so here's the big deal. I once bought a medical skeleton to use and right. have as a mascot on yeah. our floor at BuzzFeed. Uh -huh. Well, eventually, 
the props team just took it. Oh, and what? people started using it in their show. And I'm like, that's my skeleton. <gasps> that's my skeleton. You get residuals. I bought it. And how I bought it was somebody was going to rent it. And I said, well, how much does it cost to rent it versus buy it? And it's like, oh, it's only like 80 more bucks to buy it. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> let's buy it. I'll give the 80 bucks. It's mine now. <laughs> and I bought it and it was mine. And I used to puppet them all around the fourth floor when it I didn't want to do time. work. It was hilarious. Yeah. We all dressed him up. Everyone loved it. Everyone loved it. Was a loved good it. morale skeleton. It, it, was just, it was just a funny skeleton in the corner. Skeleton would go over to the desk and Keith would puppet the arms and the arms would be like, so what are you working <laughs> on today? <laughs> Yeah, I was really checked out at that point. Um, <laughs> but, uh, they took it, so I was like, I'm taking some other shit because other people were using it. I didn't want to take the skeleton because mm. there were other people I liked using it in their show. Yeah. When it comes to travel, we all have a happy place. I like traveling to Texas. I like seeing my family there. My brother's there. I like going on vacations. I like being on the beach, splishy splashing in the water. And Priceline, it wants to get us to our happy place, to help us travel to our happy place for a happy price this summer with deals that you can't miss. Priceline can save you up to 60% on select hotels, 50% off of flights, and 40% off car rentals. Plus, they have an amazing bundle and save feature. I have definitely bundled getting a car right after booking a flight for a Luberger tour. Saved us some money. It was actually awesome. It was not a vacation, but it made it feel like a vacation, you know? We were there for work, but by getting some discounts and getting a sick ride, we felt good and we looked good doing it. See why millions of people trust Priceline with getting them to their happy price. Visit Priceline.com slash the tripod to go to your happy price this summer. And I didn't want to be like, hey, this is mine. Figure your own fucking skeleton out. Was Ryan and Shane, no? No, no. no this was, was um, the, uh, it was Salorm Lindsay, and yeah, Lindsay's show and Lindsay's oh, show. Nice, and yeah. I was like, uh, I don't want to be some white guy coming in and stealing their skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how it would be viewed because I don't think anyone knew it was mine. Yeah, it's it, just like, other than the people on our floor. Yeah, right. Uh, so I was like, uh, they can have it. Where well, Becky's not gonna let me keep this. <laughs> yeah, where would you put it? In your house? <laughs> I was in an apartment. Where would it have fucking gone? <laughs> So I left it, but I took the hat and I took something else, maybe a vest. Well, we I now have a skeleton. Some, we, well, we had to buy a replacement. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I took maybe a, a hard drive or two because I just had all my shit. Oh, I might have accidentally um, taken a hard drive. Yeah, yeah. At the beginning of the company, there was a couple little uh, BuzzFeed stickers. I had to just kind of go. <laughs> uh, but so, so on Friday, I was like, Miles, what you stealing? He's like, <laughs> he does his little Miles thing. <laughs> is that Ooh. what I'm like? Yeah, this is, this is my Miles impression. You ready? Here, there ask me. Um, what'd you take from the office? <laughs> what makes you think I didn't already? That does sound like you sometimes. <laughs> I thought it was a bit. I go over to Miles' fucking studio. Guess what is on his <laughs> shelf? Well, Prime placement. Yep. Light shining down. <laughs> of course. Boing. Our Webby Award. Well. Is it stealing if my name's on the award? It's not supposed to be on the award. <laughs> I know. But I also gave everybody their own little award. You remember that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the I ordered, I ordered. Oh, a plastic one. We won a Webby podcast. Award for Best Podcast. It is a professional Correct. boingy spring yep. medal. Yep. Certainly. I was wondering where that one was. <laughs> well, it's been here for a long time just on the show. They put a lot more money in that award than the streamers put into their plastic awards. I'll tell you that much. Oh, well. And... <laughs> And it <laughs> on it it says in all caps yeah. miles <laughs> mm-hmm. and then says ampersand the try guys. That's correct. Yeah. And miles I, and the try guys and he decided that's coming with me. Well, I, and the, how that got to be is I not I don't think my fault. I mean, maybe it was. <laughs> it was, but, but I don't think it was your intention. <laughs> it was not my intention. <laughs> it was your fault. I don't think I told Kaylin, not current Kaylin, old Kaylin. Uh-huh. That, that was what it was supposed to be, but I think that that's just what it was submitted because it was like, here are the people. Then they think they recognize that this is the Try Guys, and they're like, this other guy is in the list of people involved in this show. <laughs> so we'll say, and the thing, instead of just having all our names on it. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer Miles and the Try Guys to the Try Guys and Miles, I guess. Miles funnier. and the Try Guys sounds like a band. Yeah. 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 Try Guys and Miles sounds funnier to me. Yeah. <laughs> try Guys and Miles. Sorry, and the Try Guys and Miles. It also should say, like, the Try Guys and then just my name underneath it instead of it being a sentence. Yeah. So I'm fine yeah. with you with loaning that award to you. Sure. But if and when <laughs> we have our museum exhibit in you the year 2040. cold, dead hands. I think we need some sort of, what is it called when divorced parents 
share the joint child. custody. Yeah, joint custody of the, stream, of the Webby. Yeah, not the streamy. No. Am I in the streamy for next year? I hope you get it. <laughs> I won't. But I, <laughs> but, but I'd love one. You the might streamy get this year to go. goes to Impulsive again. Congratulations, yeah. Logan Paul. I am going to start producing Impulsive. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the streamies this year, there are so many people. I bet you could get oh, an invite. I saw, I'd love yeah. to get an invite, Keith. I, I want to be on like that. a cool influencer list. You could do that. How do I do that? Uh, just know the right people. I need to get a co- Not me and Zach. We, got, got, we only got track. invited two days before. And then they asked us to present the first award, and we went as Santa. You know that. That was cute. Yeah. Like it was a fun things. time, the streams. We didn't get to talk about it, but we met a lot of your faves. I yeah. know, because I was, I was on, obviously, on their... Anna Zatar, for example, went to the streamies, and I was like, um, didn't you guys host that? I wish I had known that Bella Porch was there. Bella Porch was there? I, I saw her walk by, and I thought it was her, and I wasn't sure. I Same, and I would have absolutely gone and said hello. I think Bella Porch is really mm. an interesting personality. I, I just yeah. want, yeah, I'm like, what, who are you? Hello, yeah. my, I'm Keith. <laughs> I've never and heard she her is talk. Eensy. I've only heard her sing. <laughs> and make faces. Eric fist bumped me oh, as, that's cool. as Santa. And then I thought, I should probably go actually say hello to him, but then yeah. we didn't have an opportunity to. He's cool. Yeah, I, tr- I tried to through the crowd, and I couldn't, but I, I also got the Santa bump. We, uh, we hung out with Dylan Mulvaney backstage. She was oh, so what? sweet. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, she, if I met Dylan Mulvaney, I think I would cry. I like she really inspires me. Yeah. She she a she's a really speech. amazing. She's so sweet. Well, yeah. I'm trying to get her on Eat the Menu Cheesecake Factory. I got I to gotta text her again. Has she responded? Has, do you have her number? Uh, yeah. Gosh, Keith, hopefully. I'll, I'll pray. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you, because now you've been away for three days, what do you miss? <laughs> it's been, a, it's a, been a long weekend. <laughs> what do you miss about work? What do I miss about work? Yeah. It's really funny because I'm sort of microdosing work. Yeah. Yeah. I get to come in. I went right to the coffee. We didn't want you to go do withdrawal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, I sort of get a little bit of that juice that I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. What do I miss about work? I mean, so many fun times had by the bullpen doing bits. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like at mm-hmm. any job, the downtime is the best part. Mm-hmm. So not being able to just be like, I have to be here because I'm a full-time employee. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, I'm going to do it. Exactly, it's mandatory. <laughs> uh, ball and mm-hmm. chain. Right, yeah. But... <laughs> The silliness that happens during a full work day, I feel like, is really, really special. I don't think people assume, I think, that the Try Guys office is just, like, really serious, right? Because that's the vibe we give off. But it's pretty silly. It's pretty silly. People are doing bits. Jack's putting new snacks in the snack thing. Yep. Getting a lot of flack for some of them. There's some <laughs> yeah, because he's a crazy snack buyer, and yeah. he is in charge. And I filled out a snack census. Yeah. And actually, I'd like to, I'd like to overrule something. With your guys' approval. Shit. Here we go. I am saying Trader Joe's frozen meals in the freezer. Chana masala so to be for clear, one. You're, you're <laughs> overruling the lack of Trader Joe's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait. So you're I feel like you're proposing well, I, I put that on the snack census, and Jack was like, I don't really know if that's allowed. And Devin said it was. <laughs> it's not so, allowed. It's not technically I just, I just a make. I just want to make sure that the lunch isn't enough. <laughs> yeah, it is a little you greedy. Want frozen but I will say, while, you know what, really? Yeah, that's interesting. You want a 4.30 chana masala to go. <laughs> yes. You want to heat it up in a mug and take it in your car. <laughs> Here's the thing. You are saying this now, and I'm forgetting that I used to eat the Trader Joe's frozen Indian chana on the chana. reg. Yeah. Chana so sog, good. maybe. Yes. And butter chicken. So, that we, so here's the thing. We used to have that. But we didn't buy everyone lunch. No, 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 Interesting. Rainy, you're on thin ice here. No, 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 no. Rainy, abstains. Either we buy $3.50 lunches for everyone in the freezer, or you get to order your lunch custom every single day. My client would like to withdraw the question. Yeah, I didn't know it was an either or situation, and I am devastated because now I can't, you know, pressure. You know what, Rainy, what I should say. I didn't get it overruled. Is you should buy Rainy's special Indian lunch and put it in the freezer. No, I should. Why do we get Indian for lunch? Ever. We did <laughs> once and it was so good, but then I think we forgot about it. I'm that gonna, happens a lot. It happens yeah. when you enjoy something, you just never want it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, man, we used to go, I used to fucking at the old place. Oh my gosh, that eat. was one of the only places to go. <laughs> no, it was like, <laughs> it was one of the only options. We had this buffet and it was like so good. Seven dollars for more Indian food than you could ever want. And it was um uh, like cafeteria style, but they made different yeah. stuff every day. And it was and mostly vegan. It was mostly vegan. Although, yeah, there, yeah there's and they like they had a <laughs> vegan um, uh, mango lassi, which is very rare. It's a milk drink, right? Yeah. Um, but it was a spice roulette, 
So you never oh. knew, like you would get the same doll and it looked exactly the same. The yellow doll today is a spice level nine. Tomorrow, <laughs> spice level two. And if you ask them, didn't That's matter. Real. They they wouldn't give you a reliable answer. And honestly, that was part of the thrill. Is it spicy today? No, no. <laughs> And then it was the hottest thing you'd ever put in your mouth. You know, it's an interesting idea uh, that I just came up with myself. We go, we go back, we return. We go back to India. No, it's um. What if you did a family meal series where you have influencer, celebrity, or like YouTube chefs make family meal? Oh, for so funny! The office, so they they get to use our nice kitchen for content. Yeah, get a little taste of you guys, and also <laughs> we get free lunch. <laughs> That's awesome. So there. Are we making the content no, or are they? They are making the content in our kitchen. Uh huh. We could shoot it. I'm imagining on a day like this, we've got fucking cameras ready. I think to go. we want that show. That's interesting. Don't we? Don't I want to invite family uh, meal and then you cook it for the office? No, I want Mythical Josh to come cook for us. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like I hired Chef Josh to cook for my company. Yeah, that's good. But we, make we want the, the video. Yeah, yeah. I our, want the video. That's, that's our cool. way of like not hiring caterers. We just yeah. hire people to cook for our crew yeah i mean how much is a private chef <laughs> i've been on couldn't be more than TikTok. 15 think about this dollars. though miles <laughs> you know miles doesn't work here anymore that's one salary poof Boom. replace them private chef with a pc that's a PC? not a bad idea i would love a private chef i know i'm on private chef tiktok and they're all hot as fuck it's really not, they're like sexy private chefs they're like today i'm making beef <laughs> Well, let's talk about the TikTok men who are cooking because they make me actually oh, squirm. They know what Some of them are really give me the ick, Rainy. Describe those shoulders. No, 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 no. It's like, oh, it, it's like uh, uh, they'll have like a jar of cream and they'll scoop two oh, fingers don't into even do it. That. It's like and, uh, really uh, much uh, too much. <laughs> And then I'm they'll take honest. like a grapefruit and instead of juicing it, they'll like, like yeah. they just pulverize it. And it's just it's disgusting. like it's porn, but it's food and it's, it's not hot. so vulgar. I'll say even some of the other ones that are like, don't do like some of them do it just, it's only like sexual cooking. Yeah. Some of the other ones also give me the ick. Yeah. The ones that are just like popular like, chefs. have it like too thick in their mouth and are like. And I'm just like, actually, <laughs> this is not for me. I just watched this one lady chef who's like this great disinterested lady who cooks for people in the Hamptons. Yes. No, she's awesome. I love her vibe. She's, she's so cool. Like, yeah. Gotta make dinner again. Okay. And then she makes a gorgeous no. yeah. meal and she looks completely unenthused. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. Great. No, she's really cool. That's yeah. what I'm That's what I'm on Hamptons. That's what I'm looking for. Hamptons chef TikTok. Yeah. I would like a TikTok chef to have all the beautiful beauty shots, but the after is just a plate of poo poo looking mush. <laughs> a fro frozen lasagna. <laughs> not a bad idea. Well, I'm going to insert the theme song later because I don't think I have it on my phone. That's usually what, yeah. On your phone. <laughs> yeah, well, Miles used to play it here. Well, but then I would replace the audio with the, with the file. With the yeah, track. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, the track. so right now, this is a song. It's advice. <laughs> Do you guys? That's all we need. I don't think you need to replace it. <laughs> Do you guys feel that like we still got it, or are we kind of dependent on the plug? Are you feeling insecure right now? Always. <laughs> Inside of the it, well, I mean, you know what we don't have is we don't have a little. Coffee to go. By the way, yeah. Fuego tweet. Apparently, there is a pumpkin spiced chai. Oh, I saw that. Cha that we got to get. A pumpkin spiced cha cha slide. I don't know. Let's see. I got a tweet. A pumpkin spiced cha cha. By the way, pumpkin spice. Are we not very excited for that? Oh, I this got a candle. This is from Vicente. Y'all need to try Starbucks iced pumpkin cream chai tea latte with oat milk. Oh, my Lanta. Y'all will love it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm obviously going to be into that. <laughs> what the fuck is up, Miles Nation? Ooh, yes. He's back. I missed him. You already know what time it is. Ah, it's, it's literally going to be a piece of advice that's going to rock your ass so hard you quit your job and come back as a freelancer. <laughs> wow. Quit your job and steal everything. <laughs> steal your boss's shit. Awards. Well, basically, mm, it's the summer of love. Auga. But ice is canceled. What? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you're you're going you're gonna to believe that. You use a lot. Freezer is a big tool for you. What do you mean your ice is canceled? Ice 
is no longer interesting to me <laughs> because <laughs> I've been rocking a uh, uh, catcher. I hardly know her. Play ball. Uh -huh. I have a little picture. You keep in the freezer. Of Wawa Keith. Sure, of Wawa? Wawa Keith. I've been keeping <laughs> Keith. Keith. I've been <laughs> keeping a little pitcher of water. Keith. In my fridge. Ah, uh, Britta? No. Just like, unfiltered. Just like no, it's not unfiltered, babe, because guess whose dad <laughs> came in with a clutched little filter that goes under the under the <laughs> sink. That's the way to do it. Oh, it's so nice. Literally my dad, who has plumbing experience, installed a fucking aftermarket Wawa wow. filter. Nepo baby much. That goes literally, I am a Nepo baby. If, if being a Nepo baby means my dad built my house with his bare hands with his friends. <laughs> So the pitcher is in your fridge and, and I put a pitcher in out. and I'll say it's, it is an open air pitcher and I put it in and previously before I go to sleep sees I'm having ice in my water because I'm really ready to rip and rock. But the problem is that that creates too much condensation that guess whose nightstand is wetter than the fucking Swiss Alps. Yours. Mine. Oh shit. Good guess. But the problem is I don't have a problem anymore because I don't use ice. Instead I use ice cold Wawa crisper than the night air and when you pour a crisp piece of water into a mug. fucking bug but it's not a mug i use mason jars exclusively yeah, you're i have a little bit too many i've heard that uh <laughs> first thing you do wake up drink a bunch of drink cold water and that's a nice way to oh i drink a little cold water and then you're supposed to stare at the sun <laughs> right really? into it no this is like okay this is like bonus advice this is maybe advice that'll go for a rainy day, uh -oh. but you're supposed to go outside because rainy's from Denver and that, that has outside space. It and it has a 300 days of sunshine. That's right. Mm -hmm. We and Rainy were talking, Rainy was like, oh, <laughs> you were like, I didn't play video games growing up. And I was like, yeah, because you were outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, essentially you're supposed to go out and like get sun rays into your eyes. Don't see her directly. At the I, sun. okay. I was talking to a friend who's way into woo woo shit, and you know that I love me some woo woo shit. Yeah, baby. And was talking about, you know, she's big into earthing, earthing. Is that the, which is, is that the, where you, you yeah. stand barefoot, barefoot. and yeah. get the electromagnet. So oh. that the magnet of the earth. So I had heard that before, and I'm like, sure, been there, done yeah. that. Sure, I'll go stand barefoot. Sounds nice, right? Oh, we yeah. all love that. So on you grass. step on a bee. What she goes, <laughs> she says, how, first of all, how often are you stepping on bees? As a kid? All okay. the time. Yeah. A couple times. Stepping on a wasp, fucking yeah, getting bit by a wasp in my really face. You really learn your lesson to put shoes on in the South. Yeah, okay. big time. She, she said to me, she's like, how often are you wearing glasses? I said all the time. She goes, mm, all of your light rays are being filtered through a lens. I need you to do five minutes a day where what? you look at the sun. I actually had... And I was like, I was sitting there I mean, and I was like, yeah, that that I, makes sense. It's, yeah, it, <laughs> It doesn't because you <laughs> they're not blocking out the sun. It's but glass. It's changing. It's warping it the has rays. UV protection, which is good. good. <laughs> but you do want you do want to get some light. This is not sunlight. Some light, I said. Some sunlight in your eyes because uh, there's something about like it affects your mood greatly. Huh? Like you're, you're just supposed to get like the idea is that you have to go, you should go out in the morning and just kind of open your eyes wide, not at the sun, but like adjacent from the sun. So you're getting a little bit of stuff into your eyeballs because your eyeballs are, you know, getting that good good. This is a science one though. This isn't a woo woo. This is like <laughs> a, this neuro, this neuroscientist that has some really really popular podcast about like. I don't know, something. Woo woo shit. Stats. No. <laughs> Said that you're supposed to do it. I mean, I have a big question before we end. Yeah. Miles, you've just experienced the, the female experience, which is having a hair tie to fidget with. Oh, I love. Right? I love having a hair tie to fidget with. Yeah. Honestly, it's really, really nice. I feel like I should get a fidget spinner. Yeah. I think that's really cool. Really, 2016. I feel like you have fidget toys on your desk, though. I, You're talking to me everything like everything is a fidget toy for Zach. Yeah, yeah. yeah Zach I, is is a fidget. I uh, I've been turning non fidget toys yeah. into fidget toys. I have mm -hmm. three markers that I stack into mm -hmm. a little sword, and then I go whew, 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 until true. it breaks. But I find that any serious meeting, mm -hmm. my hands must be occupied so that my brain can be active. Yeah, I've seen mm -hmm. you. You have your gun. 
yeah, I kind of take it in and out of the holster. <laughs> And I go, pow, pow. And then whenever <laughs> someone, like, crosses me, I go, say it again. Say it again. It's a water gun. It's a water gun, yes. Yeah. But, like, a really but it shoots strong bullets. one. It's, a re- it's one of the ones that <laughs> really, it shoots bullets of water. Like, bullets of sweat, we say. That's a yeah. word. It can still kill you, but it's but water. But it's water. <laughs> it's water. I've been hiding places and shooting people with paintballs. Just keep it fun and I fresh. I keep the fun. Look out you do, for like, the community episode. Dangerous. Well, Keith... Would you give us a little ditty? <laughs> a little dance here and a little dance there. Everybody's dancing, everybody's dancing. Little dance here, little dance there. Miles is here, Miles is here, Miles is here on the tripod. Have a good ass week, everybody. I'll see you next week. <laughs>